Okay, welcome back to the continuation of uh, concatenation and also casting. So, um, so we did some concatenation, and um, that wasn't too hard, I think. That was actually not that hard. Let's do some casting instead, and there are many, many, many different ways of uh, of casting. And let me just should I write it here in comments or oh, let me think? Let's take a just like this white board. Where's I'm just right with the green one for the yeah my eyes is uh, like this green uh, so uh, text okay um let's write casting all right like that um okay so what is casting um hmm how to explain it best uh so um converting one type of uh, uh variable go that variable into another type of variable I have to concentrate I'm writing converting one type of variable into another type of variable yeah let's just define it as define it as that um maybe variable could yeah, I think variable. Let's. I like variable for uh, explaining it. So um, yeah, let's just deal with some examples. Maybe it will be clear. So I'll come in that one. Uh, system up. Uh, yeah, it's for the earlier. Uh, and now, um, okay. So let us just let us reuse the stuff we did above because uh, that's nice. So we have a number equals two. Um, let us just bring it out. Do we have a? We don't have one. So let's print out a number. We know that what we'll do. And I'll print F6, and it'll print out two because we had up here a number two. So that's what it should do. And let me zoom in just so you can you believe me. One, two. Okay. Now what? we can do if we just want to, to make this into a string um, let us just try I don't think this will work if it will work then I've learned something new let us say that uh, we want a new string that should have whatever is inside the, the variable number the integer variable number so let's just string a number string equals a number and I'm pretty sure it will complain yeah see now Java is saying something that is just hover above the error message and see what it says because it's interesting incompatible types so there's a type we call it a yeah a type required string found integer int and yeah so what do we do about this we what we want is just to have this uh should I use red instead? Uh, let us just stick to green. I actually like that color more. Uh, string, number string. Um, so we're defining a new type of string called number string. And we want what whatever is inside the variable number. Stop here. Uh, to go inside this. Just We want this. So actually, we actually want the two only. So we want the two to go inside this. And this we want an uh, integer to go inside a string. How do we do that? We have to cast it. And the way we cast it is there are many different ways. And the way that I uh starting to like, some might not like it, but is to write um string dot and then we get a whole lot of possibility and we want to use this value of so we can choose this one and let me zoom in so what I wrote was string with big S and then I press the dot and then up comes uh, a lot of options so um, this is one I want and the reason I want this one and not the other ones is that uh, int i and this is what we have um, we want to put an, an integer into it and it will become a string so all the has here is a string so it should become a string um, and uh oh we didn't choose it <laughs> here and enter and now uh and actually uh suggest that we use number 
So, so let's get rid of I wrote number here. Let's get rid of that. Delete. And now it should actually be it's a, there's no error messages, so it's accepted string value of number. So this is a way that we can actually convert or cast an integer uh, into a string, um, which is great. So let us um, let us just uh, let's I'll comment this one and create a new print statement, uh, and let us write num number string so um let's run it see what happens f6 um wow it did exactly what we wanted to do um let me zoom in I can figure it out yeah so um let's just give it another number like two is a bit boring maybe uh 200 uh, yeah like this number 20203 uh just to see that it's actually yeah. yeah zoom in again so it's actually doing that um yep yeah. so it's working so now we're actually forcing or converting uh the 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 integer into a string like this um great work now the question you might be asking or you should be asking is can we do it the other way around so now we have our number string, which is a string but contains a number, uh, this this number, and uh, can we do it the other way around? Yep, we just use the um, another one. We just um, so we create a new now we create an integer, uh, integer hmm. uh, concat. That because we're concatenating, I don't know, I might be giving giving meaningless names, but who cares? So, and uh, the re the reason I really like string that value are for uh, casting because there might be ten or hundred others that I don't even know. But the real the reason I really like it is that for the integer is called exactly the same thing. Just I think it's I think it's with big I integer dot yap. Uh, so there's more to choose from. I pressed V and then it gives the suggestion value of and we want a string so let us just press enter the first one I uh, hope you can see that alright and it suggests A plus B which is the first string I think that it finds not sure it's not the first string but for some reason it suggests A plus B but that won't really work because then you are trying to convert letters into numbers and I'm not sure if it will might do something uh, that we haven't talked about yet, but let us just not do that. Um, we won't go there yet. Uh, let's just print, uh, put in uh, the number string. That was the string we created. Number string, uh, and do like this. So, what's going on? Um, yeah. So. Uh, so now we're doing it the other way around. We uh first step was up here where we are casting uh a number into a string, uh which we're doing uh, in this one. Uh an integer into a string and we print it out in uh, here in this one, we print it out. And now we want to do it the other way around, so the variable number string is a string variable that contains a number and we want this number put into an integer variable uh, and this is what we'll do with this one so I hope I hope this makes sense I really hope it makes sense um, yeah okay so uh, let's print it out and see if it, what it does. It actually no error messages, so we we might not be doing so bad. Let me out comment it up here. Um, okay, okay. Print statement and number string and F six. We run it and it prints it. Um, sorry, that was the wrong one because it was the one from the other. All right. Yeah, shit happens. So, 
that was this one we want to print of course the other one should work so now let me just slow down a bit so these two um, are the same so that's the one we want to uh, print and it but it should give the same result that is just yeah and it gives the same result um, uh, okay <laughs> so now I might have confused uh, okay so how can we so it actually it prints that which turns the number yeah turns the, it back to, to the integer um, and let me think yeah and we could actually do mathematics with this one to prove yeah that's how we'll prove what's going on I think if I'm not confusing even more but let's try and do some mathematics and for the star should be um, multiplied so let's multiply it by three uh, and see what happens and uh, and now it gives six thousand something and I'm not that strong with mental math but uh, it at least I know that two times three is six so two th twenty thousand something times uh, three should be sixty something so the math is good so we can actually do that with this one uh, because it's an integer variable and uh, so let's try it with the other one just so that I can prove that I'm not completely mad so let's um, let's uh, uncomment now give this one back so what did this one do let's just run it see what it does it just prints the number but it actually prints a string so it prints the number being cast into a string and let's do the same thing so it's a number so you might say well it's the same thing do the same thing and the same thing comes out well let's try no it doesn't it already gives an error message you can even try to run it and I prove that I'm not mad combine run anyway what happens uh, and we get errors and errors and errors and errors so Java is saying let's even zoom in on this uh, if I can hold it still can't hold it still yeah here it is yeah, and you can read bad operand types for binary operator uh, first type string, second type int. So uh, the way I read this, it's just saying that you cannot multiply a string, which uh, you can actually do that in other programming languages to make it even more confusing. But this is Java. Java uh, don't worry about uh, other programming languages. But not, then you at least warned that uh, you it will would accept it in some other programming languages that I won't mention by name. So. But in this one, in Java, it just makes an error, say that you're crazy, you cannot multiply a string, because a string is like a text, you cannot, you can only multiply numbers that we define as numbers. Even if you have numbers within a string, it won't work. So, um, yeah, so you have to cast it first, and I hope, I will run a little bit this video, so it's only 13 13 minutes so I'll just see you in the next